Dennis Tubergen here with another economic update. Today is Thursday, May the 17th, and I've got an article up on the screen today uh, that was published back on April 21 on Zero Hedge, written by Tyler Durden, who is uh, a really prolific uh, writer uh, on all things economic. I'll give you just a bit from the article. It says, after Venezuela, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands prudently repatriated a substantial portion, if not all, of their physical gold held at the New York Fed or other Western central banks in recent years, this morning, Turkey also announced that it has decided to repatriate all of its gold stored at the U.S. Federal Reserve and deliver it to the Istanbul Stock Exchange. It won't be the first time that Turkey has asked the New York Fed to ship the country's gold back. In recent years, Turkey has repatriated 220 tons of gold from abroad. 28.7 tons was brought back from the U.S. last year. Now, this was also reported uh, in Sputnik, and I will show you that article here in a minute. This uh, was actually published back on uh, April 20, just one day before uh, Tyler Durden reported on it. Uh, the total volume of the Turkish Central Bank's gold reserves, which restored the United States, stood at 220 tons. Last month, Turkey's gold reserves were, were worth about $25.3 billion. Local media cited government sources as saying that the Central Bank of the Republic of Turkey has transferred its gold reserves from the U.S. Federal Reserve System to the Turkish capital. In March of 2018, the Central Bank of the Republic of Turkey's gold reserves were worth $25.3 billion. 220 tons of Turkish gold was stored in the U.S., according to the sources. The largest private Turkish banks also withdrew their gold reserves from abroad uh, to get rid of exchange rates pressure and to use gold against the dollar. That is a trend that we're seeing worldwide. This is just another example of that trend. All around the world, countries that are holding the dollar as a reserve currency are now looking to diversify. And they're going back to what has been an age-old great store of your economic energy of value, and that is gold. This is just another argument, another reason to be accumulating gold over time, as the writing, I believe, is on the wall. We will go back uh, to some at some point to a gold-backed currency, and that will likely be uh, the end uh, of the U.S. dollar as we know it. Now, I'm not suggesting that's imminent, but I am suggesting there's a strong trend in place, and you'll certainly want to be aware of it. That is today's economic update. Today is Thursday, the 17th of May, and I'm Dennis Tubergen.